Hello everyone and welcome to Retail Archaeology. Today we're going to be taking a look at Best Buy. And this particular location is one that's been around since I was a kid. Now what we're looking at here is the front of the store. Now up front what they have now is a lot of their TVs and high-end video equipment. But when I was a kid, they had the CDs up here at the front of the store. The CDs and the movies. And that was a big reason to come to Best Buy was to look at the music CDs. But you can see here now there are no CDs in the front of the store, and that's actually what I wanted to talk about in this episode. A few months ago, Best Buy announced they would no longer be carrying music CDs, and that day has actually come. It was on July 1st. Now, the footage that I filmed was actually one day before on June 30th when there were still CDs left in the store, and that's what I had wanted to see was the last of the music CDs that Best Buy was selling on the last day they were carrying them. It's also interesting to note that Best Buy will still be carrying vinyl, so I wanted to take a look at what their vinyl selection looked like as well. So here's the CD section, or at least what's left of it, and you can see it doesn't even take up the amount of shelves that's allotted to it. And here's the vinyl section, and this is actually closer to the front of the store. But it is a lot smaller than I expected to see. Um, it looks like they're more emphasizing online ordering, but there is actually quite a decent selection here. For example, Purple Rain. This is one of the greatest albums ever made. I was actually tempted to pick this up, even though I already have an old copy of it. And uh, once again, I just wanted to show this again. Here's the CD section, and then on the other side of it is the uh, like Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff. And uh, there's a little bit more of that stuff here. There's quite a bit of like TV series on DVD and Blu-ray and quite a bit of the latest movies and stuff on Blu-ray. And also they've got that new 4K Ultra Blu-ray stuff. Um, a lot of Disney movies. It's really probably four or five times bigger of a selection than the CD section. But I also wanted to show it is literally shoved in the back corner of the store, this stuff. That's how much they care about music CDs anymore. It's on the very last rack in the back corner. While we're on the topic of Best Buy, it's probably a good idea to kind of talk about how they're doing. Um, they were experiencing some trouble, but from what I understand, it, recently they really turned things around. Their sales are up, their stock price is rising. I was actually kind of surprised to see how empty this particular store was on a Saturday. But from what the news reports say, they're actually doing much better. I guess they're not so much Amazon's showroom anymore. Anyways, let's take a look at a time when CDs were a bigger deal at Best Buy through the power of the Wayback Machine. If you're not familiar with the Wayback Machine, it's a really awesome tool that lets you go back and take a look at what websites looked at at different times in the past. So, for example, we can look at BestBuy.com here and then click on 1996 and we can see that there's actually snapshots of BestBuy.com all the way back to 1996. So let's take a look. And here it is. This is what Best Buy's website looked like back in 1996. And if we scroll all the way down here at the bottom, we can see that there is a little thing we can click here to take a look at their music selection available in their stores. It's always fun to see how far the internet has come. Now, at this point on BestBuy.com, digital sales and even just purchasing CDs online to have shipped to your house wasn't available yet. You could only just kind of take a look at the different genres of music they had available at the store and what CDs would be available there. So for example, if we click on the pop rock section, we can see, you know, Deep Purple. Man, look, this is a trip down memory lane here. Rod Stewart, the artist formerly known as Prince. This is back when he had changed his name and Leonard Skinner. But again, like you see here, you can't really order anything, you can just look. And here's the rap section. And uh, there's Dr. Dre. I had that album. I remember having that. And then Shaquille O'Neal, the best of Shaquille O'Neal. I didn't know there was more than one Shaquille O'Neal album. I remember Shaq Diesel, but my God, the fact that he rapped enough for a best of album, ugh. I would be interested in that LL Cool J's Greatest Hits album listed there, though. And here we can take a look at the alternative section, and this is a lot of what I would have been listening to back then, like Nirvana, Sublime. God, that's a great Sublime album. I had that Nirvana live album, too, and that was pretty good. We've got Bare Naked Ladies. You guys remember them? 
Now that we've taken a look at 1996, let's jump forward a little bit to 1997. And we can see their website has changed quite a bit here. And that was the thing with the internet back then was that things were changing and updating quite frequently. I love uh, this little thing here for the OzFest 97. I remember going to OzFest, but I can't remember if it was 97. It was probably like 99 when I went. But let's take a look at some of the featured music here. Wow, Best Buy was proud to be the presenting sponsor of the 1997 John Tesh Avalon World Tour. I remember hearing that supposedly John Tesh's music was used to uh, contact aliens or something. But let's take a look at the rock selection back in 1997. And uh, we've got some interesting stuff here. We've got some James Taylor, Sammy Hagar, and I'm not a huge fan of Sammy Hagar, NXS. Right around this time, like 1997 or so, is when I would have started hanging out at Best Buy with my friends, you know, listening to the latest music and buying CDs and things like that. So, again, it's just really weird to see that really small CD collection that Best Buy has now. And of course, the album art's missing for David Bowie. And then we've got Spice Girls. That seems a little out of place with all the other stuff here that we're looking at. It's funny though, looking at a lot of these, like the Foo Fighters album there, for example. That's one that I had, but I haven't listened to in a very long time. Or Blur, that's another one I had back then, and I've just kind of completely forgotten about. We got Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. I remember that. That's another one that I listened to quite a bit in my car when I first got my driver's license. Helmet, I forgot about that as well. It's just really interesting to go back and look at, you know, some of the stuff that you listened to when you were a kid and when people were, you know, just buying CDs. It, it seems like now at this point, you know, CDs are dying. And if you notice, there's no mention of vinyl anywhere on here. But now moving forward, that's all Best Buy is going to carry is vinyl. It's interesting to see how many more CDs they're listing for sale now in 1997 than they were in 1996. For example, uh, Cake there, Fashion Nugget. I forgot that was even the name of that album. Anyways, now that we've taken a look at 1997, let's jump a little bit further forward to 1999. And unfortunately, a lot of the um, artwork from the website is missing here, but we can still kind of get the gist of what they were offering for sale. Take a look at uh, Buy Your Favorite Music Online. They're now offering online sales at this point in 1999. And they've got their uh, music top sellers listed there. And that's kind of interesting to see some of that stuff. you got TLC, Fan Mail... Americana from The Offspring, that's one I listened to a ton back in 1999. Eminem, wow, look at that. Let's take a closer look at one of these CDs here, though. How about, uh, we've got Everlast here. Ooh, Woo Syndicate, let's take a look at this one. Now, like I mentioned, at this point, they're offering online sales, but uh, here's what's interesting to see is uh, Cassette is still mentioned here in 1999. I, you know, my friends and I, we were all buying CDs at that point, so it's interesting to see Cassette listed there, especially when Cassette's another format that's actually kind of making a mild comeback as well. It's interesting to see the ability to play samples here, too, because I don't think we ever did that back in 1999. We went to Best Buy and bought the CDs there and listened to the samples on those nasty headphones. But let's uh, go back to present time now and again take a look at the CD section here, what's left of it in all its glory. I thought it might be, you know, interesting just to flip through the CD section one time since after July 1st, 2018, you won't be able to do that anymore in Best Buy stores. Here's some uh, Guar, Hall & Oates, Halsey, Hatebreed. It's interesting to see how many of these are actually empty and don't have CDs behind them anymore. It doesn't look like they've been restocking the CDs in a while. Here's Def Leppard. And the prices are actually pretty low too. You can notice a lot of this stuff is $8.99, $9.99, $10.99. $10 and it, they were actually running a sale on all this stuff as well. Bill Biv DeVoe, I forgot about them. Pat Benatar, that's empty unfortunately. Not a huge selection here anymore. Still trying to get 19.99 for Beyonce's Lemonade, though. Seems kind of steep. Yeah, like I said, though, the selection here is just sad compared to what it was when I used to buy CDs here when I was younger. Used to take up like half the store, it feels like, the CD section. 
the essential Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I also found this like discount bin of CDs like you would find at like Walmart and this was kind of sad. There was, again you've got like Boston, but there was things in here too that I just don't see people buying anytime soon. And I'm sure a lot of this stuff's just going to end up at, you know, thrift shops and things like that. ABBA. Gotta have some ABBA. And Nickelback. I don't think anybody's buying that. Here's one last shot from the back corner where they've shoved the CDs. Do you have any memories of buying CDs at Best Buy, or are you sad to see the format go? Let me know about that in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching. If you're looking for a store that has a massive selection of movies, a gigantic display of video games, every CD $12.88 or less and thousands more under $10, stop by Best Buy. Huge selection, low prices, guaranteed.